Hey guys, thanks for coming back again if you have subscribed and if you are yet to subscribe, you can easily click on the subscribe button and also the bell beside it to notify you when we drop a new video. It's been a while here, so but we're just here today to ex um, enlighten ourselves about the GC alternative to practical in physics and then showing you how it is done or probably if this is your first time uh, writing the GCE exam, so you should be familiar with how the practicals or the alternative to practical is being done. So that is the essence of this video to enlighten us, to let us know what we are going, what we are about to face during the exam. So um, this is the diagram we're going to use on the mechanics. So body procedure and every other thing that comes after it will be shown in the next slide of this video. So let's move to the next slide of the slide of the video rather, so that we can see what we have for her. Okay, guys, let's look at the procedure of the experiment as you're seeing in the video in the screen over there so considering the diagram we have uh, according to uh, what you can see in the previous slide of the video we have the internal diameter d of an empty beaker is measured so the diameter of the beaker is measured then water is then poured into the beaker until it is about two thirds full the depth the depth d naught of the water in the beaker is measured using a graduated scale fixed in the into the beaker so as we can see the scale according to that the diagram so after that uh, what next we uh, a body of mass m supported by a free end of a of a piece of thread fixed to a buzz of rito stand of a rito stand rather so that is what is the mass in the water so um the mass is i mean the mass is totally immersed in water as you can see in the diagram the depth di of the water in the beaker is measured and recorded that is the depth of the water di is recorded so at the same time the procedure is repeated for four other masses i think the mass m is measured so then we repeat it for four other masses and don't forget it is an alternative to practical so we take the value of the masses from another diagram so as there in you can see figure one a figure one b and figure c so we are going to check how to determine the masses from the diagram then the mass is mi and the diameter d of the beaker and depth di of water in the beaker respectively so which means all these measurements will be taken from the diagram the diameter d and the depth d naught and the depth di which means at when every mass is immersed in water there should be rise in the water level and that should be measured with the scale that is already immersed in the water as well so the depth di depending on the masses involved or uh, immersed in water depending on the, on the masses immersed in what uh, the masses immersed in water will be used to determine uh, the depth i not di rather so thereafter, don't forget, we need to measure D0, that is the original depth of water, and record it. So we have that. Then measure and record the mass MI, corresponding depth DI, where I equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, respectively. In each case, calculate DI minus D0. Also measure and record D, which is capital D, that is the diameter of the beaker. Then you tabulate your reading and plot the graph of DI minus d naught on the horizontal axis axis then after that and uh, sorry you are going to plot m high on vertical axis and d i minus d naught on horizontal axis then you determine the slope s of the graph and evaluate k equals 4 hairs over pi d squared then you take pi as 22 over 7 then we we'll take precaution so now let's move to the next slide of the video and see the diagram now as you can see the mass m1 is 50 gram m2 is 100 gram as you can see from the mass uh from the scale from the diagram so we have taken our we are taking our measurement right from there so the mass m3 is 150 gram the mass m4 is 200 gram and the last mass which is m5 is what 250 gram so looking at figure b i think we are just done with figure a 1a so let's move to figure, figure b where the diameter of the um the uh, beaker is measured so how do you measure this diameter it is already drawn to scale so you just put your ruler and measure out and we get the value so after getting the value there is one slide of the video where we will check what the value is 
so just measure with your ruler and whatever value you get in centimeter is the original value of the diameter then look at the figure c where we have the depth of um water when each mass is immersed in water so we have a point where we have 2.8 centimeters so from 2.8 upward to d naught we have one centimeter so our d naught is going to be 3.8 so we are adding uh, the 2.8 with the one so from 3 d naught to d1 we're going to have 4.8 then d2 will be 5.8 d3 will be 6.8 d4 will be 7.8 and d5 will be 8.8 that is how it is measured so that is one slide of the video so let's move to the table side of the video and the table side we have d the capital d where we have 6.6 .6, as i've said earlier then d naught is 3.8 is as we have measured then look at the table very well we have m high in gram 50 100 150 200 250 just like we have read from the scale then we have the high in centimeter of which i've told you that 4.8 5.8 then 6.8 up to 8.8 then when we evaluate the high minus d naught okay i think we know that our d naught is 3.8 so by the time we subtract d naught from d i we are having one two three four five so then we go over to plot the graph just like uh the the precaution i mean the procedure i've said so and we evaluate whatever we want to evaluate so that is simply how alternative practical is being done and plotting a graph you can make use of our previous video based on the real practicals to see how we plot graphs so and then you can lay your hands on any of our practical videos see how we plot our graphs there it's just the same way so the only key thing that we need to explain here is the principle of alternative to practical mm -hmm. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. Thank you.